passionate I work hard so when it pop it ain't on accident Yeah I'm always on go better watch your Yeah I'm out of breath but this is the before okay boring ugly Brittany helping me by the way um I guess <laughs> so yeah uh it's not focused so basically I want stools over here move that over here I'm changing the rugs putting up string lights plants all that good stuff it's gonna be cute reef on the door you already know a lot of this stuff is from Amazon and yeah that's pretty much where everything is from dirty butt It's dark, so y'all not gonna be able to really see. But Brittany is stringing string lights, and y'all will see more in the morning because then y'all will be able to really see. Um, and it's in a back and forth direction. All right, loves. So basically, this is what we have. I do have a door tag on there, so I'm not gonna go all the way up around that way because um, I have my address and stuff. So. Basically, I put the tiki's out here. Um, I was gonna just line them up by the house, but I wasn't too sure with the fire um, and you know it blowing all crazy. So the table did get here, which is so nice and like rustic, and it matches the bin really nicely. I'm waiting for the stools, which are darker. So we're gonna have like darks and lights. The door is dark, so we're gonna kind of complement that. We are gonna clean the door and all that good stuff, but we did kind of sweep around here i found this cute little rustic plant for five dollars at harris teeter i love what it's in and it's actually you know real so um yeah didn't do much because I'm still waiting for stuff have tiki's on this side as well and it smells so nice when you burn them and of course they keep the bugs away so up here Brittany did string these along for me and they're just like a copper wire but once at night like they look so nice um and i definitely told her like let's do the whole back and forth back and forth so yeah that's pretty much what we have so far today the stools are coming in um one of the new rugs are coming in and just really waiting for the reef and i do want to go to like home goods or something and find like pumpkins and pine cones and stuff we have a pine cone actually sitting over there but um i want like a big pine cone and I might just do like a a little um pile like right here where this plant is at so I haven't decided if I want to keep that plant there but um yeah that's pretty much it for now I haven't decided if I was keeping that a uh, mat because the other rug is like a pattern and stuff and I don't know how it'll vibe with that all right so I wanted to give you an update on where I purchased a few things from um because well, first of all, let me just give you an update on the tiki sticks. So at first I had one over there and then one on this side, but I didn't really like the way that looked because it kind of just didn't look like it went together. So I just put two on that side and two over here on this side. The two stools did come in, which I have to take the stickers off of. However, I think they're a little, I wanted them to be a little shorter, like the height of the table. So what I'm gonna do is use one of the stools as the table um, because I just didn't feel like it was comfortable on my butt um, they have a wicker look to it but they're not they're really actually kind of hard so um, but it does kind of sink in there but the outskirts are hard so yeah I like them they're cute but I don't want to sit I had I was more comfortable sitting on this thing which is a table so I kind of wish I would have got two of those but those were kind of expensive um, to be a little tape the delivery box is still over here this plant I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet 
Um, at first, I wanted to put pumpkins and stuff out here, but again, I haven't decided. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put these plants um, probably on that table. These little baby lanterns came in from Amazon. Um, really cute. And they are solar powered. Everything, all the lights out here are solar powered except for the two flameless candles. Um, I'm actually going to move this solar light because at night it gave it a different effect. So I'm going to move that and put it probably between the two that I have over here. Um, also, the rugs came in. So I have this like, I can't remember what it's called, but I will post it on this video. Um, but it's a certain style mat and it's like a really natural looking mat it feels really soft on the feet and then on top i just put a uh, i put a rug and um yeah it's the only thing is with this rug it's really light so i'm nervous about maybe if it's raining or whatever it getting dirty from people's feet so that's the only thing i worry about but it is soft so you can just pick it up and wash it um so on the edge I got these two lanterns which are really natural looking like a taupey gray color and then I put two flameless candles in there and I put it on the side of I had it first over here but I actually like the bed on the side of the door so I mean I'm probably gonna rearrange and all that good stuff but for the most part it's done um, maybe like a fall or welcome sign or something that's real bohemian vibe um bungalow vibe whatever so um then up here is the reef holder and the reef just came in that's what's in this box behind me so i'm gonna put that up give you an overview move this stuff the fake plant is from um, at home the real ones are from harris teeter that one is like dying but i like the hanging effect i don't know um I'll put some water in it. Hopefully it comes back to life. But yeah, I'm going to just move that to over there. And I'm going to use this to sit on because I just really wasn't comfortable. So let me do that really quickly. So the reef looks really nice. Honestly, this is something I could have made myself. But I don't mind supporting small business and having them make it. I know you can find these on like Etsy. Definitely feel like um, you could have made like this. A lot of this stuff can be found at maybe a Dollar Tree and Michael's. Hobby Lobby, etc. So, um, you know, and you just need hot glue. Uh, I definitely seen these, these, all this stuff probably from Walmart. Um, uh, the other thing was I was gonna do a DIY, but you know, I just didn't want to save time doing this. And this looks really nice with the port. So the at night view would have to be from my phone, but um, yeah. So the tiki's are there. Um, have the plant I did move it because I like sitting on this one instead of using it as a table um, and then with the other stool if you don't want to sit like super if you don't want to sit like super close to somebody just pick the stool up and pull it out so it's really simple uh, this is really actually cute like I really I'm really effing with it it, also, it just feels like more personalized now so yeah and I'll give you guys a view of it at night as well so china's trying to go in the house her usual she does not like especially because it's raining but she's just like okay after i'm out here for 10 20 minutes i'm done but so i added a few new things actually since you guys last seen <clears throat> since you guys last seen i don't know what happened with my voice okay so um uh the last thing i remember showing you was the wreath and then i got these um, lanterns from at home and that faux plant from at home as well for actually a really good price um, for the quality that it gives so then it has a little flower there that doubles as like an ashtray and then this welcome sign is very rustic and I thought it went perfect it's from Amazon it's funny enough I went to my tattoo place yesterday to get a tat and they have like the same exact sign I was like oh that's cool um, I like that it ties in really nicely with the lanterns it looks like it was made from the same like company distributor all that good stuff that was actually made in Canada though um so I also added some coasters out here because when I'm sitting out here chilling you know might want to have a drink and you know I can just pull one of these coasters and I thought it went really nice with the front porch even though um 
nothing was really quite gray here uh, we had taupey gray tones but now I took this gray crate that I had in the office and I put it out here because it was almost like not really being used in the office so I just was like hey let's put it on the front porch and inside I just have a lantern I keep Chi Chi's or China's whatever I like calling her Chi Chi though um, poop bags and her leash in there that pink stuff back there is that um, the little wooden boxes came from Ross and then I just put these decorative pine cones but yeah I just put these decorative pine cones in there and then the box lid is just hanging out here um, looking pretty so and they do have glitter on some of them so I like the more rustic still cute decor and then over here I just had this little bin that was on clearance at Walmart and has some more of that those natural like pine cone looking things in there wicker balls and stuff and um yeah it was a clear container I thought it was perfect and then this bin here is a trick-or-treat bin which I flipped upside down and it holds the lantern to give it a little more height now the lanterns are not even anymore but I like the fact that they're not um, China's getting cold so we're about to go in the house <laughs> so when um, Halloween does come around I'm gonna take this bin and I'm gonna sit it um, over here and I'm gonna put like goodie bags for the kiddos in there so they can just pick one and go you know and then up here I believe I may have already mentioned this but I'm not really sure but the uh, maybe I didn't yeah the hanging planters or yeah that's what they're called right planters came in and then I just put a faux plant in there and these are both from Amazon so um, I like the way they look and it's just hanging on the side the vinyl side last thing that you guys haven't seen was just this another stool and you know I'm just using this to if I need to step up on something fix a light or if I just want to sit down or someone else wants to sit a little bit lower um, it's a stool a chair option basically um, and I just put like another faux plant from Ross on there that actual stool is from Ross um I think it's made in like Indonesia or Thailand I can't remember and then I just have one of the other smaller lanterns on there so when it's lit at night you get light from several different sources which I appreciate um, and as you can see this lantern over here is a little bit higher than this one but I like that it kind of throws it off and I wanted this side to be a little more decorated because this is the side that's mostly seen in my opinion and yeah that's pretty much that I just put the tiki sticks and um, added some decor so the four tiki sticks are from Amazon 90% of this stuff I want to say or let's say 80% is from Amazon um, then we have like these little pumpkins this one here and that one there um, the Sun is too bright came from Target the lanterns came from at home the like bin or crate from um, Marshalls and then the little pine cones and stuff like that and the wooden boxes came from Ross and then this faux plant came from at home and the welcome sign is also Amazon stools Amazon this stool slash table Amazon rugs are Amazon that little plant there actually was like five bucks at Harris Cedar with the little cute plant pot which matched so perfectly that little flower there which is really like an ashtray being used as that but it's really a candle holder it's from um Ross and this little trick-or-treat bin which I thought would be really cute to put the trick-or-treat goodies in is from um, Ross but I just have it turned over right there for now and um, once you know Halloween is over and stuff I'm just gonna turn it around so we can't see the trick-or-treat because I don't think it says trick-or-treat on the back um, but I'm gonna keep it there I like that the lanterns are not symmetrical um, but yeah this is basically done these planters here with the faux plants both came from um, Amazon and then the string lights look really nice at night since it's had you know this has some um, lighting coming in right now um, we're gonna have a good like it's gonna look really good tonight because you know it's solar powered so sometimes if it's not sunny outside they won't work that night all right so just another slight overview from kind of walking up to the porch because uh, we don't have I don't have a patio here so this was kind of like 
this is the only kind of outdoor space that I did have and I feel like with no matter how big or small your porch is you can still make it kind of inviting and you know just something a vibe that you would want an aesthetic that you would want so um yeah this is kind of the overview coming from this way and then you know we'll go more in depth later on in the video well right after this clip really so now that the sun has settled down you have a clearer view of the porch so it looks just really inviting and very warm and I know we was kind of zoomed in on it or whatever so um yeah what is zoom out it looks really really good I really like it so let me back up and try not to step in the mud someone asked if I would put red mulch down but they already have like this brownish mulch um around and they just like landscape like they put that bush and then they put these little baby bushes here so hopefully they grow um into something pretty but um yeah this is what it looks like from out here and I'm going to actually take some photos while I'm back here now I'm gonna walk up more I don't know why this battery dies so quickly and give you each element up close and later on when it gets dark hopefully I can show you all you know the light and situation but that's just what it's looking like right now I'm actually use this stool here to hang up the planners which are here and here I need to put, fix that plant in there it looks really bad <laughs> but um yeah that's pretty much it China sniffing around over here there's a dead plant under that chair um but yeah I think it makes a heck of a difference for me and I just love sitting out here and I love how it looks during the day and especially at night so I shall be back when I like the tiki's and when the solar lights are on all right y'all so i decided to do this footage off of my phone because i think it will be better than off of the camera because it'd be dripping y'all so the lighting is way better off of my phone because it has night mode so this is what it looks like with the tiki's lit now originally i didn't have the tiki set up like that but they look way better when you know they're next to each other rather than across from each other so um yeah this is the overview at night. Most of the time, if I'm out here sitting down, I don't like the tiki's, but you know, if we're having like an event or something, a little kickback or whatever, I can like the tiki's to keep the bugs away. We're coming out here chilling, you know, vibing. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, again, I have four of those tiki's and I'm about to get up close. So let me do that. But first I want to take pictures. So a little more up close and personal. Have the flames going. The string lights they will flicker because they're feeling like that the tiki's are kind of giving them sunlight so they're kind of flickering on and off if the tiki's are lit uh you know experienced that when i first lit the tiki um so yeah this is the vibe out here love the lanterns it's really cute when the tiki's are off too because the string lights aren't flickering but these lanterns this small one here and over there they just come on just like the path lights will come on and then those two warm tone ones over here they you can put them on a timer they do take double-a batteries or you can just turn them on and off uh, depends on you I think it's every six hours or they'll last for six hours if you can turn them on so that's pretty much it and this is what it looks like at night me and China be chilling out here sometimes me and friends and now for me to actually put the fires out it's so nerve-wracking like um i forget what you call them but you know you put the basically the tops on them i it's like right on the tip of my tongue anywho that's what uh puts them out so um i just try to throw it on there because i'd be so scared that the flame is gonna touch me but it's crazy because i'm fascinated with fire so anywho up here the lights are flickering only one of them though the other one is not really flickering so i don't know 
But that's what it looks like at night. And um, I just did this, you know, to create a vibe. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, you know, let me know what's your favorite part about it. What you would add, what you wouldn't add. All that good stuff. I hate bugs, so I had to have the tiki torches. But, yeah, that's pretty much that. And lastly, before we go, this dead plant tree, whatever, is not really supposed to be out here. But it's just sitting here for now. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Okay, so walking up, this is kind of the view that you get. I meant to actually add this, but yeah. So that's pretty much that. Um, it's a vibe, y'all. It's a whole vibe out here. So I tried to put this one out. That one was tripping, but I got the other one out. Okay, 